Hi, my name is Sheila and I'm going to be showing you how to actually achieve the Mohawk style without having to use bobby pins. So I'll just be showing you exactly what I use on my hair on a daily basis and you can take it as a guideline from there because um, I've been watching enough YouTube videos of how to do the bantu knots, how to achieve the curls, and yeah just that whole bunch of stuff and i kind of find it a little hard because i live in africa and getting majority of those products isn't as easy like you probably have to order them online or something so i just prefer to work with what i have and try out as many products as i can so i can at least meet like at least get that glimpse of what everybody's hair looks like so basically what I use is the Cantu leave-in conditioner this one I managed to find at uh, super cosmetics here in Kenya just by chance because they actually started bringing it in I think uh, late last year and before that I was using um, I think the dark and lovely leave-in conditioner and I also use African shea butter yeah yes 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 I use that as well so those are basically the two uh, hair products that I use and in terms of washing I try to wash my hair once a week if not I kind of stretch to two weeks and majority of the time is co-washing that I do because when I realized um, when I realized that like washing my hair with shampoo my hair really dries out and uh, so I just co-wash instead and then just like condition and condition and condition and I kind of had a, a bad habit of not um, uh, doing it especially when I have braids on like I can go like a whole week or so without moisturizing my hair and that's really a bad habit I have I just can't help myself so excuse me so yeah so what you're gonna need is string like a stretch string you can actually take this from an old t-shirt cut the end and then just like stretch it out and then tie the ends because I did tie knots if you can see I tied knots at the end so at least once I've like pushed my hair back and tied it up I can actually like fold um, the ends in and the knots will actually hold the ends without it actually having to come out so yeah here we go so basically what you're going to do, if you can actually see what I'm doing, um, section the amount of hair you want. It does really have to be neat, but I'm just doing it on my own. Yeah. Okay. That is enough. Now. All right. So we leave, we leave this one out. And then we just... Uh, this bit back and this side I'm not really a fan of the um, styling gel like the styling gel that a lot of ladies use to like I don't know just to flatten this side I know it's like my hair kind of stretches and almost meet my it actually almost meets my eyebrows but yeah I'm not really into that I do it once in a very blue moon but that's like really rare so anyways, try to put this here, behind the ear, on the other side, behind the ear, and then we just tie a little knot, just make sure the rope doesn't catch your hair because it's going to hurt like crazy. Yeah, so you just like pull this back just a little bit as you're tightening it at the back, see? Okay, and then hold um, that one little bit as you try to make the second knot so at least it stays tight because if you let go it kind of loosens up but then you might not just achieve that tightness you're looking for. So yeah, so here are the ends with the knot of course and you take it okay and then you just Fold it in, tuck in that knot so this stays in. We don't want to see any strings hanging. And again, and yeah, that's just it. 
so now to kind of like join this bit just take a comb try to comb it out in the middle in the back I'm gonna do the same so at least you have that kind of style and voila that's it we're done yeah so as you know like a lot of the ladies I've been watching prefer to use bobby pins I've tried using bobby pins and they just don't like hold their hair back the way I wanted to so I actually discovered this yesterday and I'm sharing it with you today so I hope you like it I do it's much easier and if you don't want like this thickness or you just decide whatever you want to do just section the amount of hair you want and if you want it higher or tighter or lower you can just do that on your own with the string so actually the best string to use is um, a piece of old pantyhose you just cut out that leg bit and probably stretch it out or cut it in half and then just tie it because like as you're tightening it it's like naturally going backwards I prefer to use that but for some strange reason I can't find mine so I decided to substitute with an old uh, t-shirt cloth and that's about it I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be putting up more posts about my natural hair I write poems so I'm going to be putting up stuff about my poetry and uh, I have a mom blog I just blog about me and my daughter like stuff we do and yeah experiences advice i've gotten from other moms and whatnot so that's just basically it bye take care and have a blessed week bye